his eye for goal in the 1980s and him the nickname Golden Boy. And with that came three golden boots in succession. Life after retirement has not been a bed of roses for one of the country's most prolific strikers in his playing time, Isa Sekatawa. Fufa, KCCFC Foundation and a host of football lovers came to the former crane striker's rescue by contributing to his theatre bill. This now raises the question as to whether the local football governing body, FUFA, should still be responsible for those that once donned the Crane's jersey. In England, they had the same problem we are facing today. You remember the era of Gascoigne and how he was suffering, Stan Colimo and so many of them. After football, they were struggling and they were digressing in life and they became a, a, a problem. Now, what did they do? They introduced a system that allows them to transit into other spheres of the game they continue earning, they continue being uh, very influential to the game, and they contribute. So what they need to do is create a system. Before Mujib Kasuri retires, two years before I retire, FUFA, through their association, they can come to the club and they say, OK, the players that are about to retire, what do you want to do? So they will enlist. Those who want to be coaches, they'll be listed under that. Those who want to be administrators, they'll be enlisted under that. However, does FUFA have the pass to cater for all the players who don the national jersey? FUFA is creating many ex-internationals every day. For one match, Cranes and Amtima, they call 80 players. In three days, they have a match. Now, all those players, they will claim to be ex-internationals. The national team uh -huh. brand has been weakened so much, especially over the last four years, that every, almost everybody who plays football in Uganda He's an ex-international or current national team player. That is not right. The national team is supposed to be the cream of the crop, the very best that we have. And they cannot be judged on the basis of one game. These people stay for a long time. As long as they are still playing, they are active and they are consistent. But in Uganda, every single match is an opportunity for 80 other players, 50 players, to, to turn up as ex-internationals. Kasule revealed that FUFA can adopt ingenious ways through a number of projects that can sustain those that have since retired from football. Footballers can still be educated on how to financially manage themselves, how to socially behave, and how to be good professionals. If we have a system, that system must be again created by football and the federation there that comes handy for their case. Isa Sekatawa is not the only football player in dire financial need. It is a problem symptomatic of those in the sports fraternity, including athletes who have hoisted Uganda's flag at the Olympics. 